Hello students, welcome to Harita Math Tuitions. It's been a while since we met. I was busy with my students and uh, you know, I couldn't uh, upload any video for a long time. So today I thought of uploading one video which involves mensuration and trigonometry. Very interesting problem from uh, class 10th IGCSE. So the problem says find the area of a regular pentagon with side 8 centimeters. So we know that uh, uh, a pentagon is a polygon with five sides and why it is named as a regular pentagon because all sides are equal in a pentagon that's why it's called a regular pentagon so regular uh, word comes into picture when all sides are equal okay so the side of a pentagon is given as eight so because it is a regular pentagon all the sides will be eight centimeters now let us solve this problem first i'm going to draw a circle and i'm going to draw a pentagon inside it Okay, this is one side, this is second side, this is third, four. Okay, please assume that it is regular only because I don't have a scale to draw. Okay. Right guys, so it's a regular pentagon, let's name it A, B, C, D and E. So I take the center as O and I'm going to draw the radius. You know the radius is a line which joins the center to any point on the circle. Right. Now what I'm going to do, we know that the complete angle is 360 degrees. Now we have 5 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So every part is what? 360 divided by 5, that is 72. So every angle is 70. Is it not? In a hexagon, every angle is 60 degrees because 360 divided by 6 is 60. Now here every angle is 70. Clear guys? Now what we are given? We are given that the side is 8 centimeters. So a, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and uh, A, E is all 8 centimeters. Right, is it not? Yeah. 8 centimeters. Right, guys? So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll take this triangle. I have 5 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to take this triangle, okay? And what I would do, I, draw, I would draw an attitude. It's also called a bottom. So, the radius is not given, right? So, I need, I'm going to find out the radius. Okay. Now, if I draw a bottom or the attitude, it cuts this or it divides the CD into two equal halves. So, it becomes 4 and 4. And the angle is also split into two equal halves. 36 and 36. Right, guys? Now, I'm going to draw, I'm going to find this OC. OC is also nothing but the radius. So, how can you find OC? I would use the concept of trigonometry. Uh, can I go with this? Sine 36 is equal to, I want this side, right? I want my hypotenuse because this is 90 degrees. So, sine 36 is what? The angle opposite to theta by hypotenuse. The angle, sorry, the side opposite to theta by hypotenuse. The side opposite to theta is what? 4, right? 4 by hypotenuse. OC. Then OC is what guys? It is 4 by sine 36. So OC is nothing but now sine 36 is 0 0.58 and this is 6.8. Okay guys, 6.8 centimeters. Now we got OC as the radius. The radius is same throughout the circle. You know that very well. 6.8 centimeters. Very good. Okay, I'm going to write it over here. Yes. I'm going to write it over here. 72 degrees, right? Yeah, so 6.8 centimeters you got. Now, see, you know that this is a triangle, right? So how do you uh, find out the area of the triangle? Tell me, this half into base into five, right? But when, but when the included angle, when the included angle is given, so that means this is 50, this is, suppose this is 36, okay guys? And this is 68 and this is, 4. If the included angle is given, why it is included? Because this is in between the two sides, two given sides, 6.8 and 4. So when the included angle is given, what is the area of a triangle? You know very well, it is what? Area of ABC will be what now? Generally I am saying, it is half AB sine theta, right? That means your half and AB will be 6.8 and 4, isn't it? Into sine 36. 
This is how you find, right? In trigonometry, when the uh, angle is given, it is halving to basing to height only. But then uh, you have a derivation also for it. I'm not teaching now. You can take it as a height, and then you can use the Pythagoras theorem and find that uh, area of a triangle when the included uh, angle is given. Area of a triangle when the included angle is given is AB sin theta. Half AB sin theta. Now I'm going to take this triangle. In triangle COD, okay, guys. So, what is the area of this area equal to half? Okay. Now, take the included, take the included. Uh, which one are the included sides? Tell me. So, this is the this is 36. We got the whole thing is uh, 36, right? This is 90, and this would be how much? Tell me. It is 180 minus 90 plus 36, right? Which is 180 minus 54. Which is how much? This is 6 and this is 7. Uh, how much is this? Am I right? Oh, 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 oh. This is 54 I have taken. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is 6 and this is 126. So this is 54. Right. So this is 54 degrees. Got it, guys? So now this side you know. This side you know. This angle you know. You can apply the formula. Half into this side that is 6.8 A, this is B that is 8 and sine 54. Is it not? So that is half into 6.8 into 8 into sine 54. You just substitute the value, you will get around 22 centimeters square. Okay, two ones or two fours you can cancel. Just find out in the scientific calculator what is sine 54. So you will get 22 centimeters square. Now we got the area of COD, but we have five triangles, right? So it is how much then? Then area of a area of a pentagon that is A B C D E. A B C D E would be what? 22 into 5 because you have five triangles. We found out the area of one triangle, right? So it is 110 centimeters square. Therefore, area of the pentagon. Regular pentagon with side 8 centimeters is 110 centimeters square. So this is how you solve a problem using the concepts of trigonometry and mensuration. Hope you like this video. So if you like it, please uh, you know sub subscribe my channel and uh, I wish you good health and uh, happiness. Okay, thank you so much. Bye, guys. Take care.